Yeah, so Mon, I remember the first time you rocked up to one of our training sessions. I've heard you from basketball, that sort of thing. And then as soon as you got on the field, you just went and stepped a few of our girls and I was just like, all right then, who's this girl? Let's get her signed up. So no, it's it's obviously you're a doggies girl now, but it's, yeah, it's good. I was happy to see you drafted when I saw your name pop up. I actually so. remember that day. Yeah. Um, I think you came up to me and you told me to keep doing it and just keep using my skill and all that stuff. So I'll never forget that. Have you always played basketball and footy like, together? Yeah, I have. I would train 8 a.m. for Melbourne Tigers rep team. And after that, I'd go play football yeah. in the afternoon. And then later that night, I'd go play another basketball game. 16, 20 years old, I was with the Matildas and then made my way back to footy. Didn't expect there was going to be a league starting, an AFLW league. But as soon as I heard about um, that, my interest obviously grew even more and my enjoyment grew. I just remember specifically Dad sort of saying to me once, as soon as you stop working hard, that's when other people are going to go past you. I think as a young girl, that's really good to hear because I was making teams and this, that and the other, and I think sometimes the worst thing that can happen to someone is that that sort of gets to their head. There was one coach that told me that i got to find my point of difference. Every time I go out there, I try and do something that makes me stand out and yeah, makes me different to everyone else. <laughs> something good for young girls to take on board too is just to always keep really grounded and if it's something you love doing just just make sure you put 100% effort into everything you're doing. Yeah.